Uh, we've also seen uh, the Congress and Rahul Gandhi today attack the government over its decision to use excess rice which is stored at India's food go-downs and use it to make ethanol which goes into hand sanitizers and also use it uh, to be blended into petrol so that uh, there are reduced emissions uh, as, as far as petrol is concerned. Uh, today, uh, Rahul Gandhi, as we said, attacked the government over that NDTV story that we broke last night. The government's defense is that it's a very small fraction of the surplus rice that is being used. हमारे पास में जो स्टॉक है वो क्या कहते हैं कि अनाज का चावल गेहूं का जो हमारे पास में स्टॉक है वो पांच लाख टन एक्स्ट्रा है और फिर अब रबी का फसल काटना शुरू हो गया है मैंने कल कहा था कि हमको डेढ़ लाख डेढ़ साल तक जो है अनाज की कोई आवश्यकता क्या कहते हैं कि नहीं है राज्य सरकार को कहा कि आप अभी पैसा नहीं दो क्रेडिट के ऊपर में क्रेडिट कार्ड के ऊपर में या क्रेडिट पर जो है आप तीन महीने का चावल जो है दो रुपए किलो गेहूं तीन रुपए किलो चावल क्या कहते हैं कि आप ले लो well, Sanket Upadhyay joining us now. He broke that story uh, yesterday. Sanket, of course, the reason the government is being attacked is because we right now have this crisis with so many lakhs of migrants, poor people struggling uh, to get basic food uh, in this lockdown period. Absolutely. It just makes for bad optics. That is it. At a point where you have story after story where people uh, say that they are hungry, perhaps because of, uh, uh, you know, battling with the public distribution systems uh, which which has not been able to perhaps make the food reach them uh, a lot of a lot of talk of universalizing pds basically anyone who does not even also have a ration card must be allowed to uh, allowed access to these food grains at a time when a conversation like this was happening the government decided to go ahead and uh, use excess rice for conversion into ethanol and then for it to go into hand sanitizers. Now, we did reach out to the government and this is the information that we have got. Uh, the government says that the conversion of rice to ethanol is a legal process. So, this must be known. There is no illegality in what they are doing. In fact, there is a national policy on biofuel, para number 5.3, which mandates that this can be done where during an agricultural year when there is projected oversupply, the policy will allow conversion to ethanol, the point that Ram Vilas Paswan was making. Of course, you need the permission of the National Biofuel Coordination Committee or the NBCC. Uh, the government says that there is rice availability three times more than what is required. And if states need more rice and more grains, they would be only too happy to provide that because the PDS system is managed and run not by the center, but by the states. So if the states want more rice for dispersal, then they must do it. Then states must be doing it. Uh, and, and this question cannot be asked of the center. Towards the end, the government's explanation is that uh, it should not be construed that hand sanitizers are not required or they are being prioritized over something else because hand uh, sanitizers too are a priority at this moment. In fact, the government goes on to say that when you ramp up the production of ethanol, it will bring down the cost of hand sanitizers and thus make it available to the poorest of the poor who uh, should also benefit from, from these hand sanitizers. Thus basically saying that hygiene or staying clean uh, is not the sole preserve of the rich.